Welcome to this channel. In this video, I will show you a step-by-step -step process of how to solve the problem of temporary hold on successful. So as you can see, our account disabled. We weren't able, we were unable to place a temporary hold on your card. Try again or update your default payment method. If you try again, make sure that your card has sufficient funds first. Now, um, there are two major causes of this problem. One of it is that you don't have enough money on your card to run the advert. Now, the second one is that it's just a mistake that happens from the Facebook system. So I will take time to explain to you all the possible ways to resolve it. And I am sure that if you take time to watch this video, by the end of this video, you'll be able to get a solution. Now, so first of all, come down to, um, you check, you see insufficient funds. Then when you scroll down, you will see payment activity. And what you see there, for example, what I am seeing here is $2 uh, amount they tried to charge and it failed. So come and look at your last payment that they were trying to charge and it failed. So when you can, as you can see here, they were trying to charge $2 and it was not successful. Okay. So it means that I have to try to make sure that the money on the debit card is not up to $2. It's more than $2. It's more than $2. Now, this is for my client. And actually, the money on his card is $18. And they are trying to deduct $20 and it's not going. In fact, they are not trying to deduct. They are trying to check whether there is up to $2 on the account because they want to make sure that you have money. So this one is just like a trial. They just want to try to make sure that you have funds on your account. So when they tried to deduct the two dollars, it was to hold the two dollars, it was unsuccessful. So it means that my client has to put enough money up to two dollars and above. So sometimes the problem is if your the currency, the card currency is not in the the same currency that Facebook is billing you, the exchange rate may be higher than what we expected. And at the end of the day, um, your money may not actually be up. For example, this one that they are trying to deduct two dollars. Uh, they are trying to hold two dollars my client account my client may have an amount and which according to his exchange rate is exactly two dollars and they are saying is not up but in actual fact the banks charge normally higher than the exchange rate you know so in that case make sure that the money they are trying to charge have at least more than two times that amount so for example if they are trying to deduct two dollars have at least more than five dollars or more than two four dollars on it okay now now, my client has enough of that money. Uh, he actually, my client has up to $18, but it is still not going. So, for example, I, I asked him to put the money. So, he added, and it is now $18, and it's still not going. So, when I try, you ask, you see that they will say temporary, tempor temporary hold unsuccessful. Try hold again. So, I'm going to show you the various methods you can use to resolve it. So let's take time to follow this step-by-step -step process to resolve that problem. So first of all, you have to scroll down. There are several methods. So this is the first method. If this one doesn't work for you, we will go to the second method. So you will click on try hole again. You click on try hole again. And then you put your laptop on airplane mode, whether it's laptop or phone or whatsoever, okay? You put it on airplane mode. Okay. You put it on airplane mode. Then, so you should do this at the same time. So if you didn't turn on, on airplane mode at the same time, I will do it again for you to see. So let's say I put back to, I put back, I've connected back to my Wi-Fi. And then if I refresh it, let's see. It still appears on, uh, unsolved. But I want to um, try it again. So you do it at the same time. So that's what you have to do. You try to do it. So while you are clicking on it, at the same time, you click on the airplane button. OK? Yeah. So when you do that, wait after five seconds. You wait after five seconds. So after you put it on flight mode, you wait after five minutes. Then you come back. You are put it on again. Click on try hold again. It may still say unsuccessful. Then click on refresh. Okay. So 
for some people it works so now if your own doesn't work we are moving on to the second step or you can even click on try hole again and see if it still doesn't work we are moving to the second step now the second step you have to create a new advertising account so how do you do that before you can have a new advertising account you have to have a new business manager first so you must have a business manager before you can have a new advertising account in it so if you didn't have a business manager you simply come to your ad manager and then or let me duplicate this particular page and use that to create the business manager okay so i've duplicated i have as, 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 uh, another tab here so you come to the three lines on the left click on business settings okay so from business settings you go to create then you create a new advertising account okay so after you put the um the email address and you put your name and the business name you click on submit okay so a business manager has been created so we click on done so we are in business manager now then you come back to um probably we can come back to here less um okay we go to all tools then we go to the ad manager again then from the ad manager okay so because we created a new business manager they are suspecting that um the they are suspecting that there may be some suspicious activity and maybe the one trying to create the uh, business manager may not be the rightful owner so they are asking for security confirmation so we are going to confirm the identity and then continue to create a new advertising account for this same um, business manager so when i confirm the identity i will continue to create a new ad account and then to the end so okay so my advertising account the, uh, the account advertising access was restricted so i was able to to follow a step-by-step -step process and i have reinstated the advertising access so as you can see now they are saying that advertising access reinstated thank you for confirming your identity you can now advertise your ads personal ad account and other affected advertising asset will return to their previous state so they were disabling it because i tried creating a new business manager and for those of you if you follow this process to create a new business manager and you get to this particular point and your advertising access is reinstated just like what you saw here okay follow the link above mm -hmm. i have I followed i've indicated a step-by-step -step process that i followed to reinstate this account so follow that link and then you'll be able to reinstate your advertising access and continue to create the business manager okay yeah so you come here um you click on business settings from business settings you go to other account from other account you click on um let me just copy the business name so that i can put it in the business other account so i'm going to create new advertising account so click on add accounts you click on add click on create then choose the time zone and then click continue you choose this is for my business and you click create okay so you come here and select your name and then you put all these on and you assign then you close exit now when you come back to the ad manager you can see that the new advertising account is supposed to actually show so um it's supposed to show you see see more other account then when i click on it it is actually showing so now they are asking whether the business does politics uh, politics or whatsoever no so at the end of the day this new advertising access has been created and i'm sure that if you try to advertise you will not get the same problem as we were encountering the last time so let's go to the billing settings and see whether 
there is temporary hold problem there. Let's see whether there is um temporary hold problem. Okay, so let me just go back. We click here, go to billing. So as you can see, when you get to payment settings, you will see that um you see there's no any temporary hold on successful problem yet or there's no restriction here so at the end of the day you can now add your card and advertise i believe if you follow this step-by-step -step process you get a solution to your advertising access problem and at the end of the day you can advertise and then you can make more sales if this video really helps you please don't forget to give it a thumbs up like this video subscribe to this channel and if you are having any problem like this that you didn't get a solution contact us we will help you you can take time to look at the reviews you are seeing on the screen these are people that we help all across the world i've helped so far more than two thousand people who have had a zoom meeting with and help them to reinstate their advertising account and i know if you also follow this procedure at the end of the day you'll get your solution thank you so much once again and then have a great day god be with you see you in the next video